So why are red blood cells shaped like donuts? Well, technically red blood cells are shaped like biconcave discs, which means they're a full disc, but the two sides are concave, so they bend inwards. But when you look at a red blood cell under a light microscope, that center portion is so thin that it actually looks like there's a hole through it. So this means that if we want to have an accurate red blood cell donut, we have to have a membrane. Red blood cell. So red blood cells are extremely important parts of your circulatory system. They carry oxygen from your lungs to all of the tissues in your body, and to do this they have to travel through your blood vessels. Now some of your blood vessels are very wide. Your aorta, for example, is actually about the diameter of a quarter. However, as you get farther into the body tissues, your blood vessels get thinner until you hit the capillaries, which are thinner than the width of a human hair, and in fact thinner than a red blood cell. So how do you get a red blood cell through a capillary that is thinner than it is? You squish it. And so this is why red blood cells have this biconcave disc structure. A biconcave disc is easier squished than a full disc. So how do you take a full disc and make it into a biconcave disc? You remove its nucleus. Okay, let's pause and summarize. Our red blood cells, or erythrocytes, need to be biconcave discs so that they can fit through our thin capillaries. And we create these biconcave discs by denucleating them. So the nucleus is the part of the cell that holds its DNA, and DNA is pretty important. It allows cells to pass on genetic information and also allows it to make new proteins. So how does a red blood cell do that without a nucleus? It kind of doesn't. So red blood cells, or erythrocytes, actually don't make new red blood cells, so they don't need to pass on their genetic information. Red blood cells are actually made by stem cells in your bone marrow. And as of right now, scientists don't really think that there's a whole lot of protein production happening in red blood cells, which is one of the reasons why they're so short-lived, because they can't make new proteins to repair themselves. Red blood cells only exist in our circulatory system for about two to three months, so our bone marrow is constantly producing more. This is one of the reasons why it's so easy to donate blood. Your bone marrow will quickly replenish whatever it is that you've given, so if you've got it, you should share it. So now we have denucleated our red blood cell, which is great because now it can fit through our capillary and deliver oxygen to all the tissues that need it. Also, our red blood cells are really good at their jobs. Not only do they kick out their nucleus, but they also kick out a lot of other internal mechanisms and organelles to make even more space for oxygen. Go forth, do science. Make a cell with no nucleus. Oh, my nucleus fell apart. Oh, no. No. I guess I have to eat it. Oh, no. The horror. I hope I don't need any more nuclei.